Emily and this is the Tickle Pink Events channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a longtime watcher, welcome back. I'm happy to have you guys here. So before we get started on today's video, I'd like to kindly remind everybody to click subscribe. That way you will always see my newest videos in your feed when you log on to YouTube. But if you want to be up to the minute on my latest and greatest videos, the moment I post them, click that notification bell. That means the second I upload, you will be notified and you will not miss one delicious cocktail. Now that we're done with all the administrative stuff, it's cocktail time and spring has sprung. Winter is over, the days are longer, the weather is warming up. Even though some places spring weather is a little bit iffy, it could be spring in the morning and winter in the evening, but we are now approaching warmer, sunnier days. With that, that brings me into margarita season. I love sitting out on a patio or balcony sipping out a nice refreshing lime margarita, but I've had a margarita. We've all had a margarita. But you know what I like a little more is a little kick. I come from a place where we put chili on everything and I love spicy. So I decided why not combine what I love, margaritas, with some spice. So today I am making spicy jalapeno margaritas. So if you're not a big spice fan, I don't know that this will be for you, but you can kind of moderate the heat with the amount of jalapeno you use. And this is super simple. You're gonna take your traditional margarita and you're gonna add some jalapenos and we're gonna give it a little kick. So enough talking, let's start drinking. On to our spicy margarita. To start off, we have our shaker with ice. Now we are going to start with one ounce orange liqueur. You can use Cointreau, I'm using Patron Citron. Now depending on the sweetness of the orange liqueur, you can add agave nectar or not. I tend to not add additional sweeteners to my margaritas anyway because I like them a little tart. And I think all the orange liqueurs add enough sweetness just to give it that sweet edge. So it's up to you. But I'm gonna use this, um, the Patron Citron orange liqueur. And we're gonna need one ounce of that. because they're all kind of syrupy and a little sweet anyway, so I just err on less adding less sugar. And if you want to be skinny, um, you can definitely not add any sugar, and then you're like saving yourself a couple calories. So next we have Blanco Tequila. Use whatever Blanco Tequila you like. Again, the better the quality, the better the drink. So, you know, treat yourself and get a good tequila. Let's do two ounces of Blanco Tequila. So we're still on the road to your like normal margarita and if you want to just like watch the video and learn how to make a normal from scratch margarita you can do that and omit the spicy but I say try it like you never know you might just like it. So we're going to do two ounces of Blanco tequila and next you can't have a margarita without what? Lime juice and we've got the fresh stuff always make get fresh lime juice it just tastes better than the stuff you buy pre-made it's really bright and refreshing so we're gonna do one ounce of lime juice there we go now here's where the spice comes in we are gonna add two slices of jalapeno now I have fresh jalapeno here and I've left well the seeds are not kind of in but I left the core where it's typically most spicy so if you want more kick you want to have the seeds if you want less kick you want to de-seed it and if you want less kick you can maybe only add one slice so I have another really nice juicy slice of jalapeno throw it in there now there are recipes that call to add cilantro and I know cilantro is really controversial and some people love it and they hate it so I decided to just go without it and just use the jalapenos so that's it We've got our four ingredients and we're ready to start shaking. I love a fast, easy cocktail with very few ingredients because I can get to enjoying it that much further. So now, time to shake. Trying to shake it up really well. And in this case, we really want to shake because we want to get all that jalapeno flavor really bruised in there so the jalapenos release their oils and give us that spice we're looking for. So don't be afraid to be aggressive. Like work out all that stress and shake a little longer than you used to look. So we've done that. We've got, ooh, and it's got a really nice foam. So now that we've shaken it, I have a rocks glass with ice. Now, you may notice that there's something on the rim. Again, to go with our spicy theme, I rim the glass in a chili lime seasoning, like salt, kind of like tahini or anything like that. It's got chili and lime seasoned salt, so you've got a little bit of kick even in the rim instead of just a typical salt rim. So you're carrying the note of heat throughout the cocktail. So now we're just going to strain this in. We got a beautiful crisp margarita. I can see a couple of jalapeno seeds floating in there, so that tells me I got the spice going. Perfect. It made a perfect double rocks glass worth. Couldn't ask for a better pour. Look at that. 
just right. So we're going to do a little garnish and I like to add two little jalapeno slices because when you're serving it, if a garnish lets people know what's in the cocktail. So if you're at a party or whatever, you want to put the jalapeno in there so people go, oh, it's spicy. So they'll know that, hey, there's a little kick to it. Or if they don't like spice, they can steer away. And also because it's a margarita, we're going to add a little lime wedge and there you have it. A beautiful, tasty, refreshing, spicy margarita. Let's give it a try. Mmm, super good. Really refreshing. Perfect on a hot summer day. The heat isn't too much, so it's not blowing my mouth out. I'm not like needing to get a drink of water. It's just a little tinge of the jalapeno just to break up the lime and the sweet notes. So it's really good and even if you don't like spice, this isn't overly spicy. It's not going to like set your mouth on fire. So I hope that you'll give this new twist on a margarita a try and enjoy spring. And cheers, everybody!